Hi there, I'm Josh from Fugo, and today I'm going to be talking all about the NVIDIA Shield TV. I'll be going over some of the pros and the cons of this device, how it can help you with your digital signage, and finally, how to set it up to run with Fugo. The NVIDIA Shield is a streaming media player, much like the Fire Stick or Roku. It plugs into your TV's HDMI port and plays content from your favourite streaming services, like Netflix and Prime Video, along with plenty of other apps. This Android TV powered device has been a crowd favourite since it hit the market back in 2015. And while it's earned its reputation for bringing world-class streaming into the home, we found that it's one of our favourite solutions for getting digital signage up and running. The Shield TV line has two models, the Nvidia Shield TV and the Shield TV Pro. Both are pretty similar, though the Pro comes with more storage and RAM than the standard model, and has an entirely different form factor thanks to its redesign. For most of the use cases created with Fugo, the Shield TV Pro will do the trick beautifully, so that's what I'm going to be working with today. So what are its advantages? It uses the new NVIDIA Tegra X1 processor with 256 core GPU and 3 gigs of RAM that deliver exceptional all-round performance. This player can handle almost any content that you throw at it. Animations, scrolling ticker feeds, multiple zone layouts and even 4K video. It utilizes dual-band Wi-Fi technology that delivers a stable connection. And of course, it's fast. Content loads really, really quickly, which I am a huge fan of because I'm really impatient. Because it was designed for home usage, it's got a friendly interface, which makes it quick and easy to set up. You can install Fugo directly from the Google Play Store on the device. All you'll need in addition to your player is a HDMI cable. So what are the disadvantages? At $200 for the Pro and $150 for the Shield TV, these land in the mid-range of players. However, if you don't need a commercial player but still want something pretty powerful, these are a great option if you've got the budget for them. This is not a professional digital signage media player, so if you're running it 24-7 or for over 8 hours a day, its lifespan will be shorter than what you could get with something like the Intel Nook or a commercial Chromebox. And because it's not a commercial player, it lacks features like good remote device management. Finally, it's subject to a couple of minor video playback issues that we've seen with Android TV devices running Fugo. Most notably, you won't be able to overlay any content on top of a video, like text, images, or another Fugo app. Okay, so I've got it out of the box, and here you can see the components. We've got the Shield TV Pro, which is what we'll be plugging into the TV, and the Shield Remote as well, which has a really cool kind of triangular shape to it. And of course, we've got the power cable as well, which comes with both a UK and a EU US power slot as well. I would have liked to have seen a HDMI cable included here, so if you're planning to use the Shield, don't forget that you're going to need to purchase one because you're going to need it. So you can see that it's nice and compact and it should plug right into my TV's HDMI port without being too noticeable. So let's go ahead and get this set up because it's going to be pretty simple. You will just need a TV or monitor with a HDMI port, a HDMI cable, a Wi-Fi or Ethernet connection and a Google account. Now, I'm going to drop the Google sign up link in the video description below. And if you've already got your Shield TV set up, then you can skip ahead to the timestamp shown above to see how to get it paired with Fugo. First, make sure your TV is off and plug one end of the HDMI cable into the HDMI port on the back of your Shield TV. Plug the other end of the cable into the HDMI port on your TV or receiver. Plug one end of the power cable into the back of your Shield TV and plug the other end into the power outlet. Shield TV will automatically power on as you plug it in, and you will see the green light turn on. When you're not using it, it will automatically go into sleep mode. At this point, connect your Shield TV to Ethernet if that's how you plan to connect it to the internet. If you don't use an Ethernet connection, then you can connect to your Wi-Fi network later. Real quick, your remote, the Shield remote, comes automatically paired with your Shield TV. Just press the select button to get started. Once you launch that input, it's going to take you through the initial setup process. You're going to select your language. Then it's going to ask if you have an Android phone or tablet that you'd like to use to complete the setup process. If you click yes, it'll take you through the steps for that on screen. For this video, I'm going to skip it and go on with the manual setup. Next, you're going to select your Wi-Fi network and connect. 
Then it's going to ask you to sign into your Google account. You may see the option to enable Google's voice assistant. If you'll be using your TV solely for digital signage purposes, we recommend leaving that Google assistant off. Now that I've paired up my Shield TV Pro, let's pair it to Fugo. First, we're going to install Fugo on our TV. So navigate to the Google Play Store and search for the Fugo Player app by entering Fugo Digital Signage Player. Then select the app and click Install. When you open the Fugo app, you'll see the unique pairing code. You're going to use it to pair your screen by logging into Fugo CMS from the web browser on your computer. If you haven't registered a Fugo account, I'll drop the sign up link below in the description. Inside Fugo, click Create, then Screen. Alternatively, you can get to the pairing page by clicking Screens in the top navigation bar, then Create Screen. Enter the pairing code, give your screen a name, and add its location if you want to be able to find it in Fugo's Map Viewer. Once it's paired, you'll see it listed on the Screens page of your account. Lastly, I'm going to publish some content on my screen. I've created this display that includes today's date that I've made with Fugo's calendar app, a social media wall that I made with the walls.io app, and a scrolling feed of news headlines made with the BBC app. So I'll quickly save this and publish it on my new screen. And there you go, this was pretty easy. You're now ready to set any content you'd like to your screen with Fugo. Please make sure that you check out our help center for more guidance on how to make the most of your Fugo account. And of course, thank you so much for watching.